Greetings everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the 2003 American psychological horror film Willard, directed by Glenn Morgan and starring Crispin Glover. Social misfit Willard Stiles, who cares for his ill and fragile but verbally abusive mother Henrietta in a musty old mansion, is constantly humiliated and mercilessly taunted in front of his co-workers by his vicious and cruel boss, Frank Martin who took over the Stiles family company after Willard's father Alfred passed away in 1995. After discovering and failing to exterminate a growing rat colony in the basement, Willard bef befriends and quickly becomes obsessed with a white rat he names Socrates, considering him his only real friend. At work, Martin locks Willard in the elevator, though Willard's sympathetic co-worker Catherine eventually releases him. That evening, he watches Socrates begin tearing up a newspaper, prompting him to train the now expansive horde of rats, including Ben, a large Gambian pouched rat who envies Will Willard's favoritism towards Socrates. After training the rats sufficiently, Willard takes them to Martin's home and orders them to chew up the tires on Martin's new Mercedes-Benz. The next day at work, Willard leafily march watches Martin arrive late and tired, while Willard explains to the rats that they must move out. Henrietta overhears him, assuming that he plans to get rid of her. Startled by noises from the basement, Willard finds her dead the next morning, having fallen down the basement stairs. At the wake, Willard learns that Henrietta refinanced the home to pay off Alfred's debts, resulting in the house's payments falling behind and that the bank will likely foreclose upon the property. In Henrietta's bedroom, Willard finds an envelope from the coroner's office containing the effects found in Alfred's body, including the still bloody pocket knife, which he evidently passed away with. Distraught, Willard attempts to unalive himself with the knife until Socrates stops him. Attempting to comfort Willard, Catherine describes her own mother's death and gives him a pet cat, whose own mother helped Catherine to grieve. Willard reluctantly takes it, with Socrates safely stowed in his pocket. In a scene set to the title song from the 1972 film Ben, the rats, who have now taken over the entire house, pursue and fatally overpower the cat. Desperately lonely, Willard starts bringing Socrates to work with him. Despite a contract written by Alfred, stipulating that he remain employed by the family company, Willard finds a note at his desk from Martin declaring that he is being fired. While Willard desperately pleads with Martin to let him keep his job, Martin's secretary, Barbara Leach, discovers Socrates in the supply room. He, her screams alert Martin, who fatally bludgeons Socrates to death while Willard watches helplessly. Willard finally snaps and hatches a plan to avenge Socrates' death with Ben. Loading the numerous rats into a company van, he confronts Martin and orders them to swarm upon Martin and kill him. At home, Willard kills the remaining colony before rat-proofing his entire house. Exhausted after the night's events, he is finally awakened by the doorbell. Terrified by the shadows of two policemen, he remains standing in the hallway until the evening, seemingly feverish. Catherine appears, informing Willard that Martin's body was found and that the rumours had arisen that he was either murdered or eaten by animals. Coming face to face with Ben, Willard tries to leave the house before realising that the rats have chewed out his car tyres. Accosted by the two policemen, Willard retreats into the house and frantically attempts to prevent the rats from entering. Trapping himself in the kitchen, Willard is confronted by Ben, who he tries to kill with a rat trap. Believing Willard is insane and aghast at the rat infestation, the police, believe to call, the police leave to call Bellevue Hospital and the health department. When Catherine tries to enter the house, they warn her against entering, asking whether she wants to be eaten alive. Horrified, she connects the rats to Martin's death and realizes Willard's complicity. Ben viciously attacks Willard as he tries to escape. The police officers and Catherine look on as Willard, outlined in the upstairs window, kills Ben with his father's pocket knife. The final scene reveals Willard in a psychiatric hospital, seemingly semi-catatonic and refusing to eat. A white rat appears in his cell, crawling into Willard's sleeve as Socrates used to. Believing that his friend has been reincarnated, Willard joyfully drops his semi-catatonic state and begins telling the rat his plans for an escape. If you enjoyed today's video, please give that like button a click and remember to subscribe and leave a comment below telling me which movie you'd like to see me do next. Thanks for watching and goodbye.